Although the copyright in the news is reserved by Reuters, as a special temporary arrangement, our news bulletins will be available until further notice for rebroadcasting from all duly authorized broadcasting stations within the British Empire, except for the time being in the Commonwealth of Australia. These bulletins may also be rebroadcast in the United States of America until further notice. The copyright is Reuters and publication is prohibited. And now here is the news. Mr. Chamberlain is going to Munich tomorrow to see Herr Hitler again. Signor Mussolini is going too. And the French Premier, Mr. Deladier, has also been asked. Germany has agreed to postpone mobilization for 24 hours. Mr. Chamberlain had sent a message to Signor Mussolini appealing to him to ask Herr Hitler to abstain from force. The Italian ambassador in Berlin made representations and Herr Hitler agreed to postpone action. This was announced by the Prime Minister, Mr. Chamberlain, in his speech in Parliament this afternoon. The Prime Minister began by saying that we were faced with a situation which had no parallel since 1914. And he felt that the crisis might have been avoided if the article for the revision of the peace treaties by agreement had been put into operation. The position in July, he said, was that a deadlock had arisen in the negotiations between Czechoslovakia and the Sudeten Germans. And fears of German intervention were entertained. The British government considered three alternative courses. They could have threatened to go to war if Germany attacked Czechoslovakia. They could have stood aside, or they could have tried to mediate. They had chosen the third course, and if Lord Runciman had not succeeded, it was no fault of his. Mr. Chamberlain went on to describe Lord Runciman's attempts at mediation and said that when Lord Runciman sent Herr Henlein to see Herr Hitler, no direct reply was communicated, but Herr Henlein was convinced of Herr Hitler's desire for a peaceful solution. In the meantime, however, developments in Germany had been causing anxiety to the British government. Lord Halifax had written to Herr von Ribbentrop, the German foreign minister, expressing regret that Herr von Ribbentrop had told the British ambassador that the German government must reserve its attitude to the Runciman mission and regard the matter as one of purely British concern. Early in August, the Prime Minister went on, they had received reports of German military preparations on an extensive scale. The British ambassador had pointed out to Germany that these measures would be interpreted abroad as a threat towards Czechoslovakia. They would therefore, it was pointed out, increase the feeling of tension in Germany and possibly compel Czechoslovakia to take precautions herself and almost certainly destroy all hopes of mediation.